Remember, this entire manga and every manga on this channel is hand-drawn by myself. And now you too can learn exactly how to make your own viral Dragon Ball mangas at www.makemanga.com where you can learn directly from me. My mangas have got me on TV, on newspapers and even earned me over $60,000 a month on Patreon alone. And now, you can click the link in the description and pinned comment of this video and do it yourself. You only need to see the website to see just how many thousands of you are taking this opportunity right now. And don't forget also, the next video to this Ultra Vegito series has already been made and is live now on my Patreon right now for over 4,500 of you incredible fans to watch after this. Again, links are in the pinned comment and description. Enjoy! <laughs> so our story continues with Ultra Vegito emerging from the destructive explosion of a powerful blast from the Demon Emperor of Sector 4, all in hopes of stopping the fusion of Yomoshi back with the God Killer. But unfortunately, with only one darkened figure now appearing slowly, as both yellow and red seraphim eyes would glow through, it would seem the demon's plans had failed miserably. As Vegito would whisper, Wow! I really didn't expect to feel like this! Yamoshi! <laughs> Damn you! And as the unnamed Emperor would realize from above, his snarled face would say it all about his feelings, as he would comment, I was too late it seems, that tenacious creature, and now that divine one is gone too, before I could even realize who he was. As his face would then change starkly to one of cold and lack of emotion, as he would let out. No matter though, in the end, you and all challengers for my throne were destined to become relics of history. You will become no devil, and that is because you are no challenge to me. But as if Karma was its own character in the Ultra Vegito series, just as the Emperor would make this comment, right there and then, something would strike the demon hard in the stomach, and something that seemingly would have no entity attached to it. <laughs> What was that? Leading to the enraged Emperor, who was cut off to react in a mixture of anger and confusion. Looking down, trying to make some sense of who or what had just attacked him and how. Until... <coughs> Until suddenly, in rapid succession, out of nowhere, the demon would then be struck on both sides of his face, one after the other, each time, yet again, with no fist nor foot making the impact, just seemingly thin air. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> with the Emperor reaching his tether, feeling helpless not being able to defend against what he can't even see, let alone understand, his next move would be to shoot up straight into the sky to try his best to get away. And eventually, as he would reach near the top of the sector, looking down as expected, there would be nothing nor no one to be seen. No attacker, but still his mouth bleeding with injury. Stop with these games! If you want my throne, 
show yourself! Enraging the once ultimately calm demon as he would bare his fang teeth in anger, still darting his eyes all over, trying to find some glimpse of an opponent before. <laughs> Before in one final blow, the mystery attacker would violently uppercut the Emperor straight through his guard, sending his jaw utterly flying into the sky, his body almost frozen now from the impact as if temporarily unconscious. But the attack would not even end there. As seemingly being struck by a rocket, the Emperor would be forced continually into the sky by his jaw alone, reaching the very apex until… <laughs> what? How dare you? <laughs> and in frustration, in an attempt to stop whatever was skyrocketing him up, the Kid Boo lookalike would swipe his arm instantly across his chin and seemingly grab on to something. And as he would look into his hand, within his fingers would be a suspiciously small, pure black ball, almost like a piece of candy. <laughs> as looking closer within its tiny confines, the Jito's yellow and red seraphim would be seen as thoughts would begin flooding through the demon about whether this was somehow the god killer until uh... <laughs> what's wrong can't handle someone your own size until all doubt would fade when a devilish grin would emerge as in his signature gruff voice he would go the emperor right to his face and right within his clutches. <laughs> Little worm! As ultimately, it would be an insult too far, as instantly closing his palm to crush the ball, the Emperor would begin tensing his muscles until... Hakai! <laughs> Yelling with an angry roar, finally, the demon would be able to execute his God of Destruction abilities. And as expected, when he would open back up his palm, the small black ball of seemingly Vegito would be in the process of erasing away. <laughs> Fool! How long did you think that would work? And pleased with himself, a smile would finally come to the Emperor, as he would reveal his name finally. So, that's what it was. A pathetic little part of you. You thought you could stop me, the Great Mellow? Ridiculous. Wait, where's the rest of you? Are you listening? But remembering suddenly that there was still far more of Vegito to see, his eyes would immediately flash to his left. <sighs> but as he would finally look, somewhat unsurprisingly, the God Killer would be nowhere to be seen where he once was, not a trace of his energy left to sense either. And in a sector where he didn't have the ability to fly away, let alone hide, it would lead Emperor Mello to only one conclusion. As he would think, Give me a break! Did that fool really transfer his whole self into that last attack? It was powerful, sure. More powerful than anything he displayed before. But he really didn't think that I wouldn't catch on eventually, did he? Maybe what I erased was really him. Tch, how disappointing. Ha! 
How naive can you really be, demon? <laughs> but in classic fashion, such a possibility could never be true. And the God Killer's voice would soon be heard once again, but curiously from up in the air. <laughs> As finally revealed, now flying would be an all new Ultra Vegito. One definitely taking elements from his Ultra form, but undeniably from Yomoshi also. With black and white hair now, his eyebrows missing, but now possessing both yellow and red seraphim on blackened eyes, covered in electricity, and with notably a Saiyan tail behind him. Ultra Vegito had well and truly now become an Ikari God himself, but in expected fashion, with a demonic twist. And utterly stunned at his new appearance, for the first time in a while, Emperor Mello would be left speechless, his eyes unblinking, as while he would look at Vegito, he wouldn't be able to help but notice some similarities in appearance to himself. As he would comment, You! You're not the same! What's happened? Why have you got my eyebrows now? <sighs> but soon enough, Melo would then notice something far more important. Watching as Vegito's legs now float in the air as he would mumble, You're flying now too! The effects of the sector aren't working on you! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> and as Vegito would look into his hands, it would seem even this would be news to him. As he would comment, I didn't even notice. I guess I can fly now. And I feel a whole lot stronger too. Like my power isn't restricted anymore. Could it just be fusing with your Moshi did this? Or is it this new form of his? Ikari God, I think he called it. <laughs> A God! So that's what he was! As Melo, now finally realizing what made your Moshi so different, would now realize why things had changed. Muttering, uh, This sector has no effect on the divine! So that punk really was some kind of god! What the hell would he be doing hanging out with the so called god killer? <laughs> you. You're a hypocrite! But this realization would soon turn to annoyance, as looking to Vegito, he would quite rightly call him out saying, What a weak man you are! The so-called god killer! And here you are, officially a god! You see, this sector tells no lies. The only beings unaffected here are demons and the divine! And it seems you have finally become what you swore not to, if the stories are to be believed. <laughs> but as Vegito would then descend down calmly towards Melo, his eyes would close and a humid smile would be on his face. As he would then reply, uh, That's funny. You saying that makes this make that much more sense. After all, now I know why my power has been restored now. And it's not because I'm a god. <laughs> <laughs>
Cause Cause I'm, I'm a, a demon! demon. <laughs> As instantly opening his eyes and thrusting his left arm violently forward at the same time, with no opportunity to react, Emperor Mello would have his whole stomach penetrated in a flash, with the God Killer's entire arm bursting through from one side to the other, as Mello's widened eyes would just stare in disbelief. With Vegito's now shadowed face just devilishly looking forward, with his jewel colored seraphim eyes and saying, uh, And you know what? If you're confusing me like this to be a damn god, then I can't wait to see what you demons think of me as the devil! <laughs> Don't overlook me, mortal! As an infuriated mellow, now pulsating in veins, would then begin vibrating his entire body until... Uh, <laughs> until suddenly, bubbling his body and severing his arms on both sides, his body would separate into what looks like three separate parts. <laughs> If two can become one, then one can become three! As looking forward now with a grin, the stumps on either side of the demon would begin bubbling up and reforming before... <laughs> formulating three different clones of the Demon Emperor, the tables would seemingly turn back on Vegito. Interesting! As the curious god killer, removing his arm, would just look on mildly impressed, saying, Multiform technique? I never saw Boo do this. Maybe you've got a few more tricks up your sleeve than I expected. Don't let me down now, demon! Leaving the three clones to now say in tandem... Oh, we, we won't, Flesh Smile! If you believe yourself a demon, then allow your fellow brothers to welcome you to the club! While curiously, Vegito, just laughing away and grinning, would just begin to fold his arms acting like the fight was coming to an end, rather than just beginning. And with the three mellow clones not caring, they would then continue with the battle as they would, each flying straight forward at the God Killer, each with a different attack in mind. But even as they would make contact, Vegito's folded arms would not falter, instead blocking the very first elbow with his foot alone. <laughs> and for you? <laughs> Before using his other leg to extend straight to the side and completely catch the other off guard, knocking his head back with ferocity. <laughs> swinging it back just as fast to then catch the third clone on the face also, all while the first would watch on in pure bemusement. <laughs> You're nothing! But soon wanting to push Vegito further, Mello would rush forward with even more intensity. <laughs> Launching a melody of attacks all over the sky, was now accessible, but all the while, Vegito in his new form would seemingly deal with it all with only his legs. <coughs> Eventually finding an opening to kick the final clone too. However, remarking as his heart rate would remain completely calm, who knew 
All I needed was that old man to make things this easy again. Tch! You guys really are just no fun unless I'm disadvantaging myself, are you? As quickly vanishing and reappearing below Mellow, he would slam another kick upwards, smashing the clone into the other two, as if collecting mere trash bags. I will not be outclassed like this! Who does he think he is? He's still folding his arms! As now enraged and unleashing that classic boo steam sound of anger, all three clones, as if with minds of their own, would have something to say. <laughs> still folding my arms? Oops, I guess I am. As Vegito, hearing just the last comment, would then begin loosening his grip with a smirk until, with a now murderous stare, would just let out. But now these are free. Then I guess it's, it's my, my turn, turn now. now. As instantly changing into a demonic beast of his own, with his seraphim eyes glowing wildly. Vegito would launch forward now with such speed, his own body would appear to be melting into a blur. Immediately beheading one of the clones, as the other two barely have any time to even react, with the furthest left just thinking, He's... He's fast! You monster! And as the beheaded skull of one of Mello's clones would float into the air, screaming still with rage, a totally unbothered Vegito would just menacingly remark, <laughs> Calm down now! Don't lose your head over this! <laughs> this thing! So this is how crime was defeated! As now with the demon emperor beginning to truly respect and acknowledge the god killer's actual power, both would just be left open mouthed, hesitant to make a move knowing it would end just as violently and suddenly. <laughs> But not done with even his first clone victim, Vegito, realizing their paralysis by fear, would grab onto the head saying, uh, Well, if your two twins aren't going to save you, then I may as well give them a hand. <laughs> as in total disrespect, the God Killer would then toss the skull like an inanimate object straight at another of the clones, striking them in the face once more as the other just watches on. <coughs> but in that instant, he would look away. Vegito's God Slayer Blade would engage and... Uh, <coughs> instantaneously! The last of the three would find a burning sensation run right down his entire body. As with all of this happening at such speed as if the three clones had been frozen still the entire time in a freeze frame, the damage to all three would now be apparent as now the third clone of the Emperor would be completely split in half like an axe through wood. Get it together, boys! Before slamming his kick viciously into one of them, crashing them into the others by force. 
and as they would slam together, their boo-like bodies would seem to even almost clump together, creating some kind of mutated single mass. <laughs> That's what I like to see! All for one, and one for all! <laughs> As now jumping up high and slamming both of his fists onto the three as if performing a slam dunk, the mutated clone mass of Mellow would then be devastatingly struck to the ground for explosive impact. <laughs> and as the smoke and debris would fade, the effect of that last attack would finally then be seen, as the Emperor, now hardly recognizable, muttering just gargles as if in infinite pain, all three parts of him would be flattened together like some kind of pancake. But as they would remain solidly fixed to the ground, the God Killer would only make his way higher to the sky before suddenly raising both of his arms up in somewhat nostalgic fashion, his body now beginning to spark out even more spontaneous bolts of lightning, as if concentrating all his energy now. And as he would look down with his grin beginning to grow, he would then let out, I feel like the last time I tried this, this damn sector and its tricks ruined it. But now that I'm free, it's time I really showed you the power of the Dark Dharma. As creating above him a giant mass of pure black energy, what could only be described as a reverse spirit bomb, aka Genki Dharma, would be created out of pure, dark, demonic energy. As placing two fingers to his head, as if signaling a sayonara, Vegito would then solemnly address Melo, saying, uh, I had a feeling I would have some fun in this sector. But never did I think I'd finally have to refuse with that old geezer. Thanks for opening my eyes to remembering what power I really have. Hopefully, we can do this again one day. As yelling boldly, the God Killer now done with his goodbyes, would finally send down his now officially iconic Dark Dharma. And just like that, moving past Vegito from above, now directly towards the ground, the Dark Dharma would take flight. <laughs> While meanwhile, its target in the Demon Emperor Mellow which had now reformed all three clones back into just one, would slowly just get up from the ground, tilting his head up slowly before... What? What is that? Until finally with the shock of his life, would suddenly meet eyes with the end of his existence. <laughs> the darkness! How could you possess this? You really are a demon! As with Vegito's sheer demonic nature displayed in his dark dharma, being so great it would even send a demon emperor himself running for the hills. On first instinct, Mello would lose all cool and begin flying off the platform and towards the lower ones. <laughs> Come on now, you're making me lose respect for you. All while Vegito callously would just laugh, 
watching as his prey would run for his life. And run he would as Vegito's dark Dharma would then begin crashing into the platform, destroying it like it wasn't even there, as it would chase after the Emperor. <laughs> What's going on? It's... It's pulling me in! But all attempts to escape death would seemingly prove utterly useless, as with its sheer size and power, Vegito's Dark Dharma would somehow be creating its very own planetary pull, sucking in the Emperor forcefully to deal with it. It's no use! As soon, when he would look behind from the corner of his eye and see just how close the Dark Dharma was now, he would know there was no more running to do. Damn you! Forced to then grip onto it tightly with all his might. No! But ultimately, its force would not be stopped. As like being coddled in a bosom, Emperor Mello's entire body would flatten against this unstoppable push forward. <laughs> this isn't the kind of attack you push back, kid. Good try, but this is goodbye. But with his fun ending and the God Killer sensing Mello's life force begin to erase away, his softened voice would almost be accepting the end of the battle. <coughs> and indeed, it definitely would look like this, as back with the Emperor, he would no longer be flattened, but inside the Dark Dharma having every cell of his body being destroyed at the same time, being lost in the light in the process. Vegito! <laughs> but suddenly, snapping the God Killer back into action, a dual voice would be heard screaming into his ear, leaving him puzzled at just who it could be. <laughs> As shockingly, from within Vegito's mind, both Yamoshi and Broly would be seen, grabbing onto his shoulders and yelling one very important message, as they both would roar in tandem. Don't forget to absorb him, you fool! Huh. Oops, I'll get right on it, Fred. As immediately following their orders, Vegito would place his two fingers on his forehead and begin to vanish, immediately appearing right beside the still struggling to survive Melo inside the Dark Dharma. As while in that instant the demon would look to him out the side of his eye, Vegito, also being lost in the light, would then just say, Sorry, I just had one last gift to give you before you go. Come here and get it. As just in that instant, the calamity that was known as the Dark Dharma would finally erupt, exploding, taking both Mello and Vegito with it as a huge explosion that would just not cease to end creates a humongous and bright blast radius that not only erases the platform, but every single one of the other thousands of two, ultimately just leaving smoke behind all throughout the sector in its aftermath. In that aftermath, of course, eventually, one figure would be seen. The figure of the God Killer, now back in base, and mysteriously in an extremely calm manner, with his arms drooped to his side and his eyes closed. No emotion would appear on his face as he would just mutter, 
It's almost time. It's almost time. It's almost time to get out of here. As suddenly opening his eyes with a smile, the Jito would now reveal an all new set of green seraphim. One backed by blacked out whites, as now having absorbed his sixth demon emperor, seven counting the one Guts allegedly had, would now become unclear just how much mortal would be left of the Saiyan. <laughs> it's almost time to see you! As suddenly somewhere unknown, another dark demonic figure with strikingly the same seraphim eyes as Vegito would also be eager for what would happen next. Just who it would be is someone we should all know already. But that was it for today's video guys and if you made it this far leave me a hashtag who is it in the comments down below and let me know just who is this mysterious devil and is it someone we already know or just find out now on my Patreon where you can see the full next video fully voice acted, soundtracked and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,700 other fans as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mongers too. It's the deal of the century.